Hello everyone, Team NIJ is at Galgotia's University, Greater Noida to watch the budget session 2024 live with the students and interact with them in order to understand their point of view and how the youth looks at it. We are with few students, so let's hear from them, understand what they have understood from the budget. No, firstly, I would like to emphasize on the fact that many people don't understand the importance of interim budget because they believe it's like a short-term budget, it's not going to be there for long, but it plays a crucial role. And one thing that I absolutely loved about this interim budget was how India is being a key player when it comes to sustainable goals. We are actually trying to achieve what we have aimed for, not just in our nation, but on an international level as well. When you think about the different uh, organizations that have, we have been part of, it feels good to see that the changes that we have made accordingly. Uh, let's say the exa let's take example of how we are putting up more solar uh, solar panels across the nation right now, and giving out 300 unit to different families across the nation right now. It's a very big deal for a country like India, being <clears throat> being one of those nations with the highest population. It's a very big deal. So for me, that was the key point that I took out from this budget, and it's a. It's a very, very big achievement for our nation. So, uh, first of all, the market looks really green. We saw a jump in Nifty and Sensex as uh, the budget was announced. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can see a lot of uh, headlines coming in. And uh, there were a the few of them were the PM mentioned about, or the finance minister mentioned about two crore uh, houses in PM Awas Yojana. Uh, she also mentioned about uh, the Vande Bharat trains, uh, 40,000 trains to be upgraded to the standard of Vande Bharat. We also saw a uh, uh, fiscal deficit of around 5.8%. And uh, so yeah, this is for now. Um, we can also see a surge in many, many areas. The stock market has you know, really shown. There is no change in cap, uh, this thing, the tax laps, but uh, we can see that happening in the near future. And yeah, for now, this uh, seems really exciting and you know, uh, it's promising for the coming future. So yeah, that's about it. And the experts are saying that we saw a really robust domestic economy and uh, following that we can see come, uh, come, see things coming up in a fashion which is more of a you know systematic plan and we can see this government coming in with uh, you know, ideas like uh, GDP as in go, uh, this thing, growth, development and productivity or performance whatever you want to call it and uh, so yeah this is really nice and exciting for now. Nice. So how do you see this budget and also the previous budgets adding to uh, the vision of Viksit Bharat by 2047? So as this government came in 2014, we remember that there was a sudden rise in the market and the economy and the, you know, especially in the startup sector. We saw a lot of new startups and unicorns coming in the last 10 years. And we also saw that, you know, many people coming with ideas and businesses, the government really promotes the open and free market. And uh, that you know, really promotes people to come up with new ideas in the sector. We saw uh, education policy in 2020, the national education policy, which you know includes the, included the language, uh, three language uh, policy. Mm -hmm. It was really a major change because there are many people in various parts of India which uh, you know they fail to get this gap between Hindi and English, so they had a third option with their mother tongue. So that was that, and then uh, you know the pandemic happened, and for the, uh, after that we came in as you know even stronger, as more robust economy, you know. The famous economist Nicholas Nassim Taleb calls a concept called anti-fragile, something which you know gains from shock. So we came in as an as anti-fragile economy, which gained from the pandemic, and you know, we came out to be a more stronger nation. Uh, we have become the third largest economy in Asia. So I think that the state assembly has reservations for females. Ke liye. One third part, I think that is 33.33%. वो मुझे लगता है कि बहुत अच्छा हुआ है क्योंकि हम उस तरह से वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट कर सकते हैं वुमेन को और ऊपर ला सकते हैं और मैं ऐसा कहना नहीं चाहूँगा लेकिन हमें लगता है कि इस टाइम पे हमें वुमेन को ऊपर लाना बहुत ही अच्छा पॉइंट है क्योंकि हमारे पास आज के टाइम पे वी हैव वुमेंस दोज हु आर दोज हु आर फ्लाइंग एयरप्लेन्स दोज हु आर गेटिंग पेड फॉर इंटर्नशिप्स इन दी यू एस और वट से फॉरन कंट्रीज इट इज़ सो आई थिंक इट इज़ अ गुड थिंग दैट वी आर हैविंग इवन इन वुमेन डेवलपमेंट Uh, from last 10 years india has developed and our budget also increased and our uh, main goal of our budget is like for uh, developed india up to 2047 mm. um, economically uh, and uh, india have to be independent um, in poverty women empowerment food security 
and uh, now like uh, budget mainly focused on agriculture sector hospitality mm. and then in infrastructure financial status and revenue services and everything here i think uh, last 4 years i have seen that the budget allocation in the education department and education sector was uh, remaining constant of around 2.9% of the gdp but this year uh, it has been allocated at 6% of gdp which is a potential growth in the education sector i think it will help in improving the uh, education in the country and the government uh, mainly focuses on uh, including more and more ai uh, in the education uh, sector uh and i think it will greatly help in boosting the uh, development of india and it is a, a step closer to viksit bharat at 2047 as you mentioned the four pillars of uh, viksit bharat yeah so definitely the interim budget of this uh, over the past few years uh, it has been helping all these four pillars if we talk about the garib there are many schemes that are uh, issued by the government uh, if we name some we can name avas yojana ujwala yojana which helps the poor to increase their stand of uh, standard of living by some of and uh, if we talk about the youth many many opportunities of uh, jobs have been created over the past few years the women's what happened for women's is that what i recognize is the most development is the 33% of the reservation which had been made in the parliament because obviously representation is the essential thing also not only the legal aspect the government has started to focus on the social social aspect and they have made uh, triple talaq uh, illegal and so many development which we see in the in terms of government that government have done for women that they have given equal representations and self help groups and anganwadis about the green energy uh, government has recently passed a lot of amount for this and it is uh, really important for india to focus on green energy like if uh, we talk about resources the resources will somehow come to an end but if we are focusing on green energy many multinational companies are uh, getting involved with green energies so yeah green energy is a very good step taken by india for vikasit bharat so if we will see the past years from like since 2014 specifically we will see that there has been boost in tourism like recently when our uh, prime minister went to lakshadweep it had it had bring a lot of tourism in that area and also it had created so much international you know uh, international crisis at that time also if we will uh, look at uh, development of ram mandir ayodhya it have created so much of tourism there so i can i see that you know tourism sector is giving a boost and recently uh, there is also by ministry of tourism there was a bharat parv in delhi where i also went personally and you know it was a boost a boost for tourism so you know a culture diversity is increasing and government is working towards that so that's it for today's video do not forget to like share and subscribe to new india junction this is avantika kansal signing off until next time